Hey guys, welcome to Double D's RC's. I'm Don. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be working on a project that the other D, uh, Dave, he's the other half of the Double D's, um, gave up on, I guess. He had a lot of troubles. It was an ECX Torment uh, 4x4, and uh, it's been giving him shit from day one. Um, so he finally just said, uh, screw it, and bought a different truck. And instead of throwing this one in the garbage, uh, I took it, and I'm going to try and make something out of it if I can. We'll see. Uh, the current state of it is he stripped the motor, the ESC, the receiver out of it, um, the servo. <clears throat> so i got to just put it back together. I have a bunch of parts laying around. It is broken, so <laughs> that's going to be interesting. The gear that goes uh, into the rear differential is stripped so I found it online but it's like 25 bucks with shipping just for a gear for a piece of crap truck so I don't think I'm gonna go that route <clears throat> I think what I might do is try and take the front differential apart and see if it's the same gear in there if it is I'll probably just disable the front differential and um, use the gear to rebuild the rear and then just make it a two-wheel drive <clears throat> And then we'll see, maybe I'll just make it into some kind of weird truck or something. Or I might just give up on it and use it for spare parts. I don't know. So let's uh, see what we can get into. So this is the truck, I guess. The shell, or not the shell, the bones, the chassis, I don't know. Uh, here's a pile of parts, a servo, a spare servo, I guess. I got three shocks. <laughs> so we'll see. I don't know what happened to the other one. Maybe he's still got it somewhere. Um, he did give me the body over there, so that's kind of cool. And I got the set of tires that came with it stock, so and a couple of bags of parts. We'll see what we can do with this thing. First step, I'm going to tear apart this front diff and uh, see what's in there. Alright, I <clears throat> got the front taken apart and that's what the front one looks like. That's the piece I need right there. Let's compare the two. I mean it doesn't look in much better shape to tell you the truth, but a little bit I guess. So we'll see if we can get this out here. This is the piece I need here and let's compare the two you can see how it's chewed up more so we'll see if we can get this uh, swapped out to the rear end and see if we can get it to go back together so next I have this here that uh, I also got for free and I'm going to try and see if it works. And we're going to test out the servo that uh, Dave donated with the uh, box of parts. We'll see if all this stuff works. If it does, we'll start putting it in and um, see how that goes. This is the motor I'm going to put in there and the computer. I'm not really sure what it came out of. Uh, it's a. Uh, 3660, 3300 um, constant velocity, and yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. I know it works. I had it in my backslash for a little while. I just didn't really like it. It was kind of slow on the uh, response. So we're gonna put it in this beast and yeah. Okay, so the free uh, Dumbo RC receiver and transmitter, I just could not get to work. So I had a Traxxas one also taken out of a previous vehicle. I'm going to try that one and see if we can get it to link up. Alright, now we have a servo that works. It's noisy, but it works. Motor works. 
so I guess we can proceed. All right, we got some some uh, shocks and uh, threw the tires back on just to see how they're gonna sit. Um, this thing's gonna be low. That's what I'm going for is a low. It's not a truck anymore. It's just a two-wheel drive low riding thing. I'm gonna try and put the front shocks on today and then um, see how that goes. So another thing that um, I was trying to figure out was a body of some sort. And um, you know, I'm thinking like a, a panel truck or a, a, like a open wheel, like a rat rod or something, you know, like Proline makes a rat rod body, things like that. Cause this ECX has got a really narrow um, chassis. You know, the, the wheelbase is uh, similar to a slash. I think it's 13 or 13 and a half wheelbase. But the chassis itself uh, is pretty narrow. So then I was driving to the store this morning and in the garbage I found this thing. It's a generic ass um, RC truck. So I don't give a rat's ass about that. But my first thought was maybe that's the body that'll fit so we're gonna give that a shot too and let's see what we can get out of this here franken turd all right now we got front and rear shocks on there uh, front bumper uh, broke off before I even inherited this truck <clears throat> I might take off the rear bumper next um, I want to see how this body fits on there and maybe take off the bumper then I just got to mount up all the uh, the ESC and the uh, motor and then put a battery in there and take it for a test run see how it goes well <clears throat> it fits on there I think uh, I'm gonna have to I might raise it a touch I don't know what I'm gonna do yet it looks better sitting down in there covering the chassis more but Probably have to do some significant trimming up here. Not sure yet. I mean, it looks cool. I won't be able to turn without trimming it, you know. And I want it to sit back a little bit. So I think I'm going to start chopping it up and see what happens. All right. So to make the body work, I had to do a few modifications on the mounting. So I took the front body mount completely off. And then I took the rear body mounts. They used to go through the back side. I took it off, flipped it over to the front, and then I had to um, drill out new holes higher up because I needed to raise this uh, body mount higher and they were already adjusted high enough so I took or as high as they could so I took the bracket off flipped it over to the other side <coughs> drilled some holes and then um, got it up as high as it could once I was able to do that I just uh, mounted the motor um, set the mesh put the ESC in put the um, receiver on top of the servo with double-sided tape, stuck a battery in there and ran it. So the way I ended up uh, mounting it was I drilled um, some holes in the back. As you can see, uh, yeah, my first attempt was uh, off. <laughs> But I didn't really care that much because I know I could always cover it up with stickers or some something if I didn't really like it. And also this one wasn't intended to bash. So, you know, whatever. It is what it is, man. It's just a uh, free build, you know, stuff that I had here already uh, that was either donated or I found. And I wasn't going to be flipping it. This thing I knew was going to be low. So I just went with it and pointed and shot essentially, and I missed. So I had to re-drill it 
but either way I got it to work. So the rear, you put in your standard pins. In the front, I just ran some uh, rubber bands around it, around the body mount, just over the one side, and down on the other, and it, it held it in enough. This thing it would never hit even probably 20 miles an hour, just because it's a uh, ECX and it it sucked. I'm sorry to say it, but it did. Um, so yeah, then I drove it, and it didn't even make it one battery pack, uh, and the rear differential gear that I put in, uh, stripped out. There's something wrong with this truck, uh, it's not designed good, in my opinion. There's nothing really to change to make that gearing more tight in the back. It's part of the, of the chassis is this little cutout where the um, shaft sits in between two bearings. Both those bearings are fine, but the actual part on the chassis where the, the shaft fits has a lot of slop. So it wants to pitch this thing. It wants to move it up and down and pitch it all around. And uh, what that does is it changes how the, how the actual um, differential gear meshes up inside of the differential so it pitches that gear back and forth and that pulls them apart and strips it that's what happened the first time before I made any modifications to it before Dave donated it to me um, even at making it the two-wheel drive I don't feel that caused it because it did it the first time even with four-wheel drive but overall these things suck in my opinion um, I've had uh, quite a few Traxxas's now, and I know Traxxas is probably not the best one out there. Who knows? You know, there's a lot of people who are fans of other models, whatever. It doesn't matter as long as you're out there driving. But I like Traxxas. They're easy to work on. Parts availability are good. Their design is good. I mean, this this thing has got. It's just retarded. It's not. It's not a good truck, man. So I mean, if you're the first time buying one. I'd stay away from this one. Maybe the two-wheel drive is good, but the four-wheel drive completely blows ass, so get something better. But once again, uh, well now I'm going to take everything out and throw it on the shelf. I'm going to put some shitty old tires on there, take the shocks off, everything back off, and it's just going to be a conversation piece more than anything. I don't plan on making it run again ever, so... Thanks for watching my videos, and we'll see you next time.